I hope you're listening carefully to the words in that song. Um, I'm going to come back to it at the very, very end. And I hope you'll think about some of the ideas that come out there. Um, but I want to start off with a bit of scripture, okay? And um, this bit of scripture says, So I did as he told me, and I found the potter working at his wheel. But the jar that he was making didn't turn out as he'd hoped. And so he returned it to a lump of clay, and he started over again. These are some words by the prophet Jeremiah. And there's quite an idea in the Christian scriptures of us being like clay. Okay, And the idea is that we can be moulded and shaped, and we are moulded and shaped by God. And we're made into these great jars, these great jars with real potential. And that's all of you in a sense. You're like a jar that can be moulded, that can be shaped, that has such the potential to do absolutely anything. And for Christians, just like when a potter uses this bit of clay and turns it into a jar, they leave their fingerprints on it. So Christians believe that in some way God leaves his fingerprints on each and every one of us. However, sometimes we face problems in life. We face difficulties. Think about this terrible pandemic and all the many, many people that have died and how perhaps we've missed birthdays. People have lost their jobs. Really tough stuff happens. And so sometimes these wonderful pots that we might think of ourselves as being end up getting broken and smashed. And that can be the way with our lives. You know, we go through some difficult stuff, don't we? You know, maybe family separates, you know, mum and dad, you know, are no longer living together. Or maybe there's illness. Really, really tough stuff happens. And so we can often perhaps feel like a broken pot or a broken jar. And then it's easy to think, well, you know, what am I going to do with this? I'm just going to, I'm just going to bin it. I'm just going to throw it away. You know, there's, there's nothing to be done with it. You know, and sometimes in life we can think, gosh, you know, what am I going to do? Well, there exists a Japanese art called Kintsugi. And Kintsugi is made up of two words, Kin and Tsugi. Kin means gold, Tsugi means to connect. And Kintsugi is basically golden joinery. It's the action of taking pottery, which is broken, and reconnecting it to make it useful once more. And you can see there that lovely Kintsugi pot, and the gold bits are what are joining the pottery together. More about that in a moment. But let's think about an event where there was real brokenness. Jesus' crucifixion. Jesus, when he rose from the dead, had terrible, terrible scars. Terrible scars on his hands, wounds on his feet, scars in his side. But Christians believe that he was able to walk around after being resurrected. He was able to talk and to eat and to spend time with the disciples. So here we have beauty of the risen Jesus, but then brokenness of his terrible scars. Beauty and brokenness combined into one. Really hard to get our heads around this idea of beauty and brokenness combined together. Let's go back though to our pot and this idea of Kintsugi, because the art of Kintsugi says that when you have this broken pot, when you repair it, actually you end up with something more valuable than the one you started off with. And actually, the things that have damaged it have actually made it of greater worth than it was before. So what might that say to us? What could we learn by that? Well, I said that Kintsugi means golden joining, golden connection. In the art of Kintsugi, what they do is they take like a lacquer or a resin and they use that to attach the pieces of pot and then it is covered over with real gold. Now, St John of the Cross said, where there is no love, put love and you will find love. Sometimes we need to do that with our scars, with our 
problems, with the things that go bad in our lives. We need to put love into them. Just like the Kintsugi artist puts gold in when he's joining together, when he's reconnecting, sometimes we need to put love into those difficult things of our lives. When we have those fallings out, when we have those problems, when there's illness, there needs to be a bit of love in there. And maybe it's us that's putting the love in there, maybe it's other people that are putting the love in there. But when that love is put in there, you can end up with something amazing. A little bit more about the art of Kintsugi. When the potter is doing his work, he has to glue the pot back together and then he has to apply some pressure. It needs to be held in place. There needs to be patience and there's a bit of waiting that's needed. And sometimes that's the way with us. When there's difficulties in life, when there's problems, when there are bumps in the road, we maybe need a little bit of patience. We need to wait. They're not always going to be sorted out straight away. But they will be sorted out eventually. But we need to be patient. We need to wait. That's what's sometimes needed. A final thought is something else quite interesting about Kintsugi art. Look at the items behind me. Sometimes, when they're creating Kintsugi pottery, they haven't got all the pieces. And it's perfectly acceptable in Kintsugi pottery to find a different piece and to put it into place. And you can see that with all the, with the first one with its missing piece and the replacement, and then the others there. And maybe it's the same with us. Sometimes when we've got those problems, those difficulties, those hiccups, those things that upset us, sometimes we can't always do the healing. Maybe we need other people to help out. We need that friendship and that love of friends or family. Maybe we need a teacher, a staff member, somebody else who's going to help us in this situation. Sometimes we can't do it all ourselves. We need others to intervene, others to make a difference. And what then? Well, as I said earlier, Kintsugi pottery is all about the idea that the first item might have been great, but actually, sometimes the breaking, the problems, the difficulties, and then that reconnecting with gold gives you something that is more valuable afterwards. And so it can be with all of us as human beings. We can go through some really difficult, struggling, tough, tough times. But sometimes at the end, we come out different. Sometimes even coming out better. Sometimes coming out actually a better version of what we were before. I'm going to finish in a moment with a prayer, but a final bit of scripture. First of all, I shared with you words from the prophet Jeremiah. And here's Jeremiah again. And this time he says... Surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Christians believe that however bumpy the road is, however difficult the road is, however many breaks and fractures there might be, that actually God is there in it all. He's got a plan. He's got hope for us. Now, I'm going to finish by playing um, a little bit more of the song and we'll say a prayer. So we'll end with a prayer first, then a bit of the song. Let's bow your heads. Father God, help us to reflect on the art of Kintsugi pottery. Help us to consider that sometimes we need to bring gold and love and something precious into those times of hurt and difficulty. Help us to remember that we might need to be patient along the way. Help us to recognise that we sometimes need other people to help us with our problems and our difficulties. But at the end of them, something beautiful can come and that we can be new creations, ready to live a life that has hope. Amen. I'm going to play a little bit more of the song and as I do I want you to watch the video. The song is brilliant, it has some great words in it 
all the things that I've been talking about, and I want you to listen for some of those words, but the video's a bit rubbish. Because rather than remaking the items, they just turn the clock back and they rewind time. And Kintsugi isn't about rewinding time. It's about making something beautiful, even when things are a little bit broken.